hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been we are going to look at something on um, rubber sheeting right good so it's actually the process of um, threshing or aligning a map or other spatial data to match um, a specific reference um, map or coordinate system right good so we are going to use a particular data we are using them um, 3d 2018 right good so you go to what insert we are trying to bring in the data we want to rubber sheet then you go to what attach right good so we are using them um, one of our pdfs like um, the survey plan we've actually designed them um, on solving solutions we are trying to bring it in as a pdf however if you have an image you can also select from the drop down to see if you want to bring in an image file or maybe what um, a PDF file, right? Good. So we are bringing in a PDF file. Then that's the plan. We select, yeah, that's the preview, and we do what we open. Good. So all things are okay. We click on what okay, right? Now it has been attached somewhere around there. We can just um, use the zoom extent, yeah, that's the zoom extent to zoom it to what. To the full screen now this is the first thing we have done it's about them um, bringing in the data right good now in the process of rubber sheeting points on the map or special um, data have been corrected are selected as control points and their positions are compared to the same points on the reference map or coordinate system you know we know that okay let's just over our mouse around this you can see now that the coordinates are not actually showing what they are supposed to show right good we already have a shape control somewhere around there however it's not showing what it's supposed to show so what we are saying is that the points on this map yeah on this plan rather because as the plan is seen as what the control point which is now compared to the same point on the reference map or coordinate system so as it's not a reference map as what's the coordinate system because we already have the coordinates of all of these points so when we select each of these points within this our plan so yours can be a map within this our plan we now compare it to another plan or a coordinate system so by being a coordinate system or by comparing it to a coordinate system it simply means you just imputing the coordinates of each of those points that you've what you've selected right good so the next thing is for us to now type the command the command for a sheet is for other sheet right good yeah that's other sheet good so now what it does let's see the preview performs rubber sheeting on selected objects so geographically aligned to or more data sets from different sources right good so for example use rubber sheeting to stretch a new subdivision plan into a pre-existing parcel subdivision map into a pre-existing parcel map right good so that's what it does so just what click on what the command now as you can see we have been requested to what to put in the or to impute or select the what the first base point so the base points most times are points on what on the reference or the spatial data right good so we select this first point now you can see down here we are being requested to put in what the reference point one right good so we've actually typed them out we have what the points here so for point one we have what that's a right so we can just copy that just minimize it then we what we paste it there as point one then we hit enter Good. Now we are being requested to put in that of what base points to now. Um, when you're performing a rubber sheeting, it's always better that you have a good number of points, and then the points that you're going to select are actually following what a chronological order, right? Good. So when you pick one here, it's not very good for you to pick another one here, pick another one here before you come down to this point. So it's always better that if you want to follow through this direction, you follow through accordingly. If you want to follow through this direction, you follow through what according. So it's always better to follow what an order when you're picking your points, right? Good. So we now pick the next point. And you know the more points, as we said earlier, the better the accuracy what of your um, the rubber sheeting, right? Good. So that's the second point. Now we are going to put in the reference point, right? Good. So that's for point two. Then let's come to base point three that's the approximate end point we select um, the third coordinate which is what c right so then that's ctrl c then we come down to this point then we what we 
paste the task control view then we hit enter then we have the fourth and the last point for today's video right so we just click on that approximate and we come to our register we select that the control c then we do what we paste it here as a control v so we have all our base points and our reference points right and so if you have more it's um, still requesting for more if you have more you can still add more but we've actually added the four we have the four vertices we have for our parcel right good so we can just hit enter good so it's now what asking for an object to select right good for the object let's now click on the old and um, the old pdf that we've got imported so for us to be able to do that we just click on what select right good so you can type s or you just click on what select so let's just type s somewhere there then we hit enter right good now let's select the object so as we said earlier the whole pdf right so you just select the object and you hit enter again you now see that what your special data or the plan we have or the map you have has disappeared no it hasn't disappeared it has actually gone to the actual um, spatial position right to the actual position in space so they are no longer or let's say the plan we are working on is no longer on our screen because this is not the actual coordinate of what is not the actual coordinate of the plan right good so for you to now see that you zoom extent so that's um, simply z enter e enter right good so we have, our plan is back on our screen and when you over the mouse around can now see the coordinates are what are within the coordinates we use for what the rubber sheeting right so as I said earlier yours might not be a pdf yours can be an image however the idea is that you should have um, quite enough um, control points which you would use for the rubber sheeting and then you should follow what a chronological order right good you should follow a chronological order so this is the process whereby or this process how you cannot perform a rubber sheeting on maybe a yeah, autocad um, civil 3d 2018 if i'm not making a mistake so if you have any question contribution comment you can actually what leave that on the comment section or you can contact us directly and we are going to get back to you as soon as possible so if you have us to if you want us to assist you or join in the project you can always contact us and we are also available so until we see you on our next video keep staying safe enjoy the holidays and um, have a very good time bye